In Surfside, I've seen several large dump trucks and medical examiner vans coming and going from the side of the debris. 7's Elitza Bezios is live with the state fire marshal right now. Elitza. Yeah, the, the state fire marshal here just um, briefing us on everything that has been going on overnight and into this morning. So, Jimmy, tell us what you saw this morning on site. So, I mean, I just left the morning briefing and, uh, you know, there's definitely resources that are coming in. This is not a local event, it's not a state event, it's not a national event, it's an international event. So the uh, the amount of support that is coming in and now with, with POTUS coming in tomorrow is going to raise uh, the awareness of the, the catastrophe here to a level that, uh, that we've never seen. And, you know, we do appreciate the video that was released by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue because it really shows and talks to what you have explained to us what your crews and what all the crews are, are going through and the images we're seeing, that's not just for a camera shot. That is happening 24-7. At least uh, it's, it's funny you bring it up because that's exactly what I saw this morning on my TV. I was getting ready and I watched it and I told the Miami Fire Rescue folks, I said, I said that video was amazing. It shows how hard people are working. It shows their exhaustion, and, but it also shows that nobody is stopping, that we're doing everything possible to make sure every life that can be saved is saved. Now, we did hear this morning from uh, the colonel, the commander of the Israeli group, saying that they found tunnels overnight and that, unfortunately, they found uh, people who, who were not alive. Can you comment at all on that? We've, there, there's 12 confirmed. Uh, I can't comment on anything further than that. But uh, just understand that the, uh, the families are so incredibly vulnerable right now uh, that we're making sure everything possible to respect the dignity and information that they deserve to hear from, from a loved one or uh, a member of the official staff that are working on site. So uh, we're doing everything to be sensitive to the families. Well, and let's, and let's talk about these families in those tunnels and, and, and void spaces because hearing that these tunnels have been found, I mean, that I feel like gives us all hope that there could be life under there. Oh, absolutely. So so overnight, I mean, th there's a Herculean effort that happened overnight. I'd, I'd heard about it as, a, as, as in, in conversation yesterday, but they have actually built a ramp overnight to be able to get the heavy equipment down next to the pool. This is incredibly dangerous because the building is still so unstable, but bringing the heavy equipment in to be able to remove debris that ultimately would take hours and hours and hours of manpower, now you're able to leverage you know, massive equipment to remove massive pieces of concrete that could lead to those incredible, um, those incredible good news events. And, and we all hope so. And we are all hoping here on on day seven of this search and rescue efforts uh, that that there is that there is a miracle and and, and we find life. Well, and and uh, because the miracle it creates a sensational narrative. Uh, and, and I just want to give warning. Um, there's GoFundMe accounts that are popping up all over the place. Uh, be careful. Those those accounts, unfortunately, are, are usually tools of those that are not up to, to, to good. Um, err on the side of caution. If you want to give a donation, go give it to Volunteer Florida. Uh, it's the state's official uh, place where you can donate money, and Volunteer Florida will cut checks to every support organization that makes a request. So um, the, the, everybody's heart is in this. Everybody wants to give. Everyone wants to support. But just be prepared because... We see the best in people in disasters, but we see, unfortunately, we see the worst in people too. Yeah, that, that, that is an unfortunate thing. And when it comes to donations, we will um, make sure to add those links. I, I think they're already on our website. You can always head to WSVN.com for that. And, uh, you know, the, the briefing, 11, 1130, um, you know, at this point for, for rescue crews, paint, you know, one more picture before we go of, of, of their work. How are there, I mean, if I can even ask you how there's the easiest questions, um, you know, yesterday I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm hanging out with the guys and um, their, their feet are covered in blisters. Uh, their hands are covered in, in, in cuts. Um, they're blowing through gloves. They're blowing through boots. Um, you know, we're we're replenishing just as quick as they're, we, we had. We had a, a boot dealer on site taking measurements to give them brand new boots uh, because the, the conditions they're working under are not like any hurricane they've ever been in. So uh, this is an extraordinary uh, life-saving emergency effort unlike anything we've ever seen in the state of Florida. And, and, and those men and women are doing everything humanly possible 
uh, to the, the amazingness of their abilities. Uh, so uh, incredibly proud. Uh, and at the same time, we've got to watch from Mother Nature because there's storms out in the, in, in the Atlantic right now. And that's, these are the same men and women that we're going to count on if a storm hits this state. So um, a lot of, lot of emotions in a bunch of different directions. A lot of emotions, and please, please tell the rescuers. We thank them for what they are doing, and I know the families thank them as well. Well, and, and um, I don't know if anybody tells this to you, but um, they don't watch TV, but their wife does, their mom and dad, their kids and they call and check in. They don't take their phones with them on site, but they call and check in, and they, they feed off of, of you wanting to be proud of their efforts. And, uh, and especially for everybody here in Miami-Dade County and all the Task Force One and Task Force Two members that they're working there, they're so emotionally attached to a successful outcome here. So um, are they a little emotionally uh, compromised? Sure, uh, but how can you not be? And they're, um, they're an inspiration to everybody else because they have this, you know, never quit attitude and it forces everybody else to have that same passion. They really are the best, the best of the best and, and we thank them. Um, and for now, we're going to send it back, back to you, back to you in the studio.